guys, Jill here, and I wanted to show you some of the things that I've made for the wedding. I've been wrapping up a lot of the projects, so I'm going to show them to you as I progress with them. So, as of right now, I finished the thank you notes. Now, this is so embarrassing, but when I cut the cards for the wedding, which I showed on another video, I had the cards they came out here along the side and I hand cut all of them well I mismeasured and I was so mad because I cut this section right here short on all of the wedding invitations so I could have seen them back together but I wasn't happy with the way that looked so I decided to adapt and I turned them into the thank you notes so here's the thank you note. Again, this is the cardstock from Joann's. I kept them very simple. I attached, let me show you, I used these labels, spell binders, and I used yep, the third one in and the fourth one in. And so I just cut out the same paper then I used some ivory cardstock. I stamped thank you from a set that I have from Impression Obsession. And I aged it with tea dye and vintage photo. Then on the inside, I used that same labels, the second one in, that I've been using for all of the other wedding stuff for her to write her message. And we left it blank. I just aged it again with the tea dye and vintage photo. And so that's how they close and this is the part that mimics the label but I hand cut it so I'm glad those are done then here are the thank you notes or thank you cards for the bridesmaids now I did mimic a tag I had already done for a swap so I just ran the background through the Tim Holtz texture fade and I had first taken the paper and just used my ink pads, rubbed it over um, to distress it with Victorian Velvet, Bundled Sage, and Stormy Sky, three probably my favorites. I took the same dabbers in those three colors and I ran them over some seam binding and crinkled it up. I put a trinket pin behind that. I used the same thank you that I used on the thank you notes. I used the dress form die and I just cut chipboard and a scrap of paper I had laying around because the paper I ended up using gold rub and buff over. This is the sticky back canvas. I used a circle hole punch to cut out the neckline and I used the Tim Holtz stamps um, that I picked up at Michael's. I don't know the set name. I didn't keep that information. And um, this is Victorian Velvet. I distressed that canvas with the Victorian Velvet. This is some paper clay that I used with one of my handmade molds. And I just colored the paper clay as I had shown by smooshing my distress ink onto my Tim Holtz sheet and then I rubbed the clay through it and kneaded it in. And then this is just some pearl trim. I used one of my tissue paper flowers, excuse me. <clears throat> just got these allergies that have kicked in. Um, one of my tissue paper flowers, and I just used the scallop Stampin' Up punch to cut out a whole bunch of them, put a brad through the center and push them together. And then these are my favorite Michael's leaves with the print on them and I just sprayed them with my bundled sage perfect pearl mixture. So there you have it. There's the thank you notes and I've got a lot of other things I've been working on so I'll be showing you those as I finish them because the wedding is in 15 days. So I'm getting there. <laughs> so stay tuned and thanks for stopping by and have a great day.